Hello and welcome back with me, Admiral, joining me back on Star Trek Fleet Command. Uh, so, as I said last week, today's episode is going to be about the officers uh, for the Discovery and the new officers. Uh, I haven't got all of them, so just bear that in mind. The ones that I do have, which I will show, gladly show you now, um, I will be running through the ones that I have only. Uh, the ones that I don't have, I won't be running through because I can't. I can't tell you something that I don't have. So the ones that I have are pretty much just this top row here. I don't have, obviously, Paul, Michael Burnham, or Giorgio. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Just before we start, thanks for all the new subscribers. We've gained 11 in the past week. Which uh, So thank you. Welcome to the team. Uh, not only that, obviously, if you want to support the channel in any way, then obviously you can make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well if you obviously enjoy the videos. Uh, it does help me out massively. Uh, if you want to help the channel even more so, then obviously there is a PayPal link, but that is not obviously something that you need to do. Uh, hitting that subscribe button is ju just enough. Uh, so today's video is going to be about the officers, the ones that I specifically have, the way that I would, not necessarily I would use them, but I think they sort of bode well to using them in this manner. Um, obviously everyone's got their own opinions, so please let me know your different crew techniques and your different crew layouts that you would use in the comment section down below. Uh, I am obviously all ears for uh, finding out new ways to use officers and new different uh, sort of officer layouts. The first one I'm going to go for is going to be, uh, I would say, probably the ultimate defense crew um, overall, I would say. Uh, so if we go for the ultimate defense crew, which is probably the best way that these types of characters sort of fit into this role. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, ignore the ship. It doesn't actually matter about the ship. Uh, I'm just going for the officer layout that just happened to be in this ship, but it doesn't actually matter. But um, So we're going to go with uh, Carol, who's going to be your main captain. Just because when defending, against, uh, when defending in battle against a player, Carol decreases the weapon damage for the opponent by 40%, and that's just at her level at the moment. Uh, and then a good one to go with that is going to be Saru. The reason Saru is obviously good to go with that is because he gets the same ability. When fighting a player, Saru decreases the opponent's weapons by a further 30%. I presume, oh well, these are going to stack on top of each other, therefore reducing the opponent's weapons by 70% overall. Um, so that is obviously a massive decrease. And providing you can obviously get your hits away as well, then that is going to be... The only thing obviously you need to be bearing in mind with this is... To get Carol's one to pop, obviously you need to be defending, so the, you need to be attacked rather than you be the aggressor. Whereas with Saru, you can attack. As long as it's a player, you can actually attack and that is still going to affect it. So it's the, either way, whether you attack them directly or whether you defend, you're going to get that. Uh, you're going to get this ability to pop anyway. Um, but if you are defending, this is probably the ultimate defense because you're going to get, like I say, you're going to get the weapons reduced by 70% overall. Uh, and that doesn't even take into account the other uh, the other officer and, obviously, Carol's other ability. So, obviously, Carol's other ability is to decrease your weapon damage by 25%, which, obviously, is going to be quite massive um, or quite useful, especially if you're reducing their weapons by 70% uh, overall. And then your weapons are actually hitting harder. Therefore, you should hopefully be able to come off better in that engagement. The new other one, obviously, we're going to use uh, Tilly in this... Uh, lineup as well. The reason we're going to use Tilly is because every time the ship is hit by an opponent's weapon uh, attack, Tilly has a 30% chance to decrease the opponent's officer attack by 15%. This is cumulative as well, so every time this pops, it's 15% constantly. Uh, as it gives a little note there, decreasing attack may result in a decrease in damage, which again stacks quite nicely with the other two. So you can pretty much, if that pops, uh, you've already got a 70% reduction by using, obviously, Carol and Saru. So there's 70%. And if you can get this Tilly one to pop twice, the enemy's not going to be doing any damage to you at all for the entire battle. Um, in terms of, yeah, like, I know it's 15% of the attack. Uh, so that, obviously, it's not, it's 15% of the attack, so it might decrease the damage. So the damage... They're not going to not do any damage, but they're going to do very little damage that you basically it's going to be so insignificant that it shouldn't matter and you should be able to win that engagement. Um, so that's going to be my, like, I would say the best way to utilize these types of officers. 
um, in my opinion. Obviously, everyone else has their own opinion, so just bear that in mind. Uh, the next one we're going to go to is the other officers. So we're going to go to uh, Burnham. So we've got Origins Burnham here. Her ability, just so you're, so you're aware, is Origins Burnham increases the uh, increases the weapon's damage of the ship by 11%. This one was actually a hard one because technically speaking, she can go with anything um, because it's just a flat increase of 11%. So she can go with anything. I've put her with Gorkon and Azabur. I'll show you why in a sec. So obviously you've got Gorkon's ability, uh, which is the hull breach. So every time there's a hull breach, you get obviously that bonus damage anyway. So then to get an extra 11% on your weapon damage, it's going to then further help do more damage uh, if you get obviously the the whole breach to uh, to to pop. Uh, so the critical dam hit damage is going to be obviously even higher, eleven percent higher. And then with as a uh, as a beer as a beer, what's the name again? As a beer, as it beer. Jesus, it's hard to say. So every time the ship hits the opponents with a weapon attack, uh, as a beer increases the armor piercing of the ship by 15%, again, which may result in uh, being able to hit harder uh, as well uh, and more damage. So that's why I've sort of partnered. You, again, this is sort of a I've sort of thrown this in there. Um, to be she can pretty much go with anybody um, if you want that flat 11%. This is obviously for her level at the moment that I have it. This is obviously going to go up depending on what level you have her as an officer um but yeah she, she's gonna give you a flat bonus regardless so you could pretty much partner her with pretty much anything um it's not really going to matter i wouldn't have said and then we got so, but i thought that was a okay setup you could go with if, if you obviously chose that sort of route alternatively again the ship doesn't matter don't worry about that um Again, so we're going to go with Skip You. The last officer in this lineup is going to be a Stamet. So this is the Origin Stamet. So his abilities are Biologist, which is Origin Stamet increases the health of all officers on the ship by 10. This could come in handy uh, if you just wanted the flat health increase. I don't see him really getting used in that sort of purpose. I sort of see him getting used in this sort of secondary purpose, which is the origin stamina increases the warp speed of the ship by 34%. So this is going to be utilized very well if you're going to use like miners, uh, or you're going to use just any ship, to be honest. you can Again, you can put pair him on any ship you want, uh, because you're going to get that flat increase of speed uh, when once you're in warp, which is obviously benefit very beneficial when traveling around the galaxy, for example. Um, so if we put him on that one, for example, uh, let's see how long it would take to get to a normal minor node that I'm currently at when the game decides to load. If not, then whatever. <laughs> so if we go to, the game's being very slow lately. Uh, so if we go to a normal, say, say minor node for me at the moment, um, you're going to be looking at probably somewhere around here, maybe maybe ITIN or maybe even here. It's only going to take 4 minutes 57 seconds uh, or alternatively you go there for 5 minutes 40. To put that into perspective, if we take him off, go away, confirm you. We take him off and we go to the same place. It's going to take 6 minutes and 2 seconds where that, you're basically taking off over a minute. A minute and 15 seconds here or just over a minute and 15 seconds so that is quite good especially if you're traveling long distances that is obviously a good ability to have so just bear that in mind um obviously you're going to go across people you're going to come across players that obviously have different types of officers like Giorgio, for example as Giorgio, obviously you're going to have a burning ability again i will talk about these in more detail once i do unlock them if i ever do unlock them um, but you're going to come across her ability which is like the burning for example uh, which is obviously going to be very good um, at the start of each round if the opponent is burning so you compare her with like nero for example uh, so that's going to be very good. Oh, well, you don't even need to because their secondary ability pretty much does the does it for her at the beginning of each round. Giorgio has a 50% chance of burning the opponent's shift for two rounds. So you're pretty much going to get that to pop every time, to be honest. It's never not going to pop. And then you're going to get this ability, um, which decreases the attack of all 
officers on the opponent ship by 100% uh, for that round, which is a massive decrease. Um, so this is pretty much always going to pop. She's a, she's a very, very good officer to have, especially for the burning ability. And the best part about that, you can have this burning ability and you only need her on the ship. You can partner her with pretty much anyone else, someone that does higher damage, for example, or you could do someone that decreases the opponent's damage um, even further. So again, you could partner her, which be a good one to do you could partner hair with saru for example because he has the 30 percent reduction in obviously um the damage <laughs> she reduces the uh, opponent's uh attack by a hundred percent for the officers so again that is going to uh, accumulate in probably damage the damage that the opponent can deal to you so again that's going to be a good combination and you're going to get the bonus of them being synergized together so again that's probably going to be a very good uh and then you just put a third one in doesn't really matter at that point you can pretty much just put anyone in and it's probably going to be pretty decent uh and then you obviously you got michael burnham her abilities are i don't know i'll have to sort of find out how her abilities work a little bit more detail um, but at the moment, I don't see them being overly useful. Giorgio is definitely the best. And then you've got Paul Stamets' abilities, which is the 40%. So when defending against a player, Stamet decreases the opponent's armor piercing by 40%. Or alternatively, you've got the network, which increases the cost efficiency of jumping and summoning a ship. This is going to be a st stupidly useful one to have once you've unlocked the summoning ability with the discovery. Um because if you can decrease the amount by 20%, that's going to even help you out so much. Um, so again, that's going to be a good one to put on your discovery as a captain. Uh, other than that, that's going to be it for this episode. Please let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your com like combination of officers. Uh, like I say, this is just a brief overview of how you could use them in future battles. Bear in mind, a lot of the ones here are for player versus player so pve type of players this is not going to work for you so do not use them in this manner uh, you can still use origin stamets for your speed for example and you can still use burnham uh, origins burnham that is for your obviously 11 percent increase in damage overall but other than that you're pretty much not going to use them origin saru i didn't really talk about him because <laughs> It's only a 7% seven, 7 whole health to the ship. You could partner him technically with, um, if I, I'm getting it right, Livis, I think it, his name is. Yes, you could partner him with Livis, for example, because his ability is a 40% chance, or 40% whole health by 40%, maximum whole health by 40%. So you could partner home with them to get even more whole health on, say, like a battleship. Uh, but to be honest, you're probably going to use him and you don't really want to waste the slot on Origin Saru. So I don't see his abilities being that great. Uh, but you could technically partner him once his abilities are up even higher. But I don't see him being used that much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up if this was useful to you. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please do let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.